As you all know, my favorite scenes with sovereign citizens are the courtroom scenes, and that makes sense, right? Because I'm a lawyer, and that's where I work. Today, we're going to watch a scene where a, a, a judge uh, mutes a sovereign citizen, tells him he's from an alternate universe, and uh, threatens to hit him with a very large bond if he ever sees him again. This is a good one, everybody. Hello, I'm Joe Pometto, the host of the Common Sense Academy. If you like my content, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Also, I have another channel. It's called Joe the Lawyer. The link is in the description below, right at the top. Now, before we watch this video, go ahead, find Joe the Lawyer, click on it, subscribe to that channel, even if you don't like it, get me to a thousand subs, and in the meantime, raise your cup, your glass in the air for the same time sip. It tastes better when we sip together. Cheers. All right, let's watch this video. Mr. Morrow Bay, are you there? Yes, I am. All right, this is file 21213ST. It's entitled People vs. Samuel R. Perdue, who refers to himself as Samir Siraj Morrow Bay. His mother named him Samuel R. Perdue. Uh, Mr. Perdue, you got another ticket for driving with a suspended license. Second offense, that's a misdemeanor punishable by up to a year in jail and a fine of up to $1,000. You're also charged with speeding. I'm assuming you're going to plead not guilty to both of those? No, of course not. I'm innocent, and my name is not Mr. Purdue, so I would um, I would appreciate if you didn't call me Mr. Purdue. Dude, you're going to piss off the judge for me. All right. Um, well, Mr. Mr. Morrow, Mr. let me tell you this. Stop. Yeah, you're from some alternate universe where you don't have to obey the laws. Of no, state. you don't respect the law, sir. Stop. If you drive again here in St. Joe County, I'm going to set your bike at $10,000. And uh, also, I'm, I'm going to lie to this. you. You see this? Are you looking? Uh, I was forced to get, um, <clears throat> get this license. I don't want it. But as you can see, your officer is a liar. Well, what's the name on that? Is that Sandra Perdue or Mr. Morrow Bay? Well, um, I'm forced to do this. Anything I do with y'all is under threat, duress, and coercion. So, so you so, have um, every have, time I travel, all right, you have your uh, commercial mercenaries keep pulling me over. You have, you have a driver's license because your, your your commercial mercenaries continue to pull me over, and they won't leave me alone. Well, stop driving. Well, they stay I out don't drive. I travel. All right. Traveling is one thing. Driving is another. You can travel all you want. All right. But let me, let me make this That's clear. what I'm doing. And they so, won't let me travel. They won't let me travel on my own land. And you're violating, you're, you're violating the law, and you know it. You're violating the law. <laughs> well, one of us is. He's uh, definitely violating the law. And anybody who needs to know anything about now, the law, slow down, talk about slow it. Slow down for a minute. Um, do you, that license you held up, is it a valid Michigan driver's license? Is it a valid Michigan's driver's license? Oh, uh, well, I was forced to go to the, to, um, your secretary of state because you guys won't let me travel on my own land. That's as valid as it is. What's really valid is my nationality that you keep denying. So you're denying me due process and you know it. Well, you haven't been convicted of anything yet. I'm just telling you, if you continue to keep driving on some cockamamie thing, I don't thing, drive. You're, well, you're behind the wheel of a car. Give me this BS about traveling versus driving. I'm just telling you right now, you heard it here. Right. If you drive again in St. Joseph County and you get another ticket, I'm going to set a very high bond. You can sit in jail for 28 days until we sort this out. You're presumed to be innocent of the charges that you're charged with, and you've exercised your constitutional right to plead not guilty. No, I didn't plead not guilty. You just <laughs> said that. I innocent. said I'm innocent. All right, fair enough. We'll set this for a last pre-trial. <laughs> Are you still at 312 North Sage Street, apartment 302? North America is my domicile. 
you can send whatever information you want to that to that address. That is fine. So any judge who does not comply with this oath of office to the Constitution of the United States wars against the Constitution and engages in acts. All right, I'm going to mute your microphone. I don't want to hear this crazy, uh, nonsensical thing. I'm setting you for a last pretrial. We'll pick a date, and I'll send it to you in the mail. I don't expect that it'll settle the case. We already have one case set for a jury trial. We'll probably set both of these for a jury trial. I will give you credit. You always log in in a timely manner, which I appreciate. I'll give you a new notice. It'll be on a Thursday afternoon. Uh, we're going to skip the regular pretrial and just go right to the last pretrial. I expect to be said for a jury trial. All I'm telling you is stop driving. And stop St. John County. All right, sir, you're good to go. Okay, well, this was an interesting one, friends and family. Um, this, uh, I don't know if this judge knew exactly what he was getting into at first. And uh, it's always interesting to see a judge who has never worked with a sovereign citizen before, because at first they're kind of like, hmm, what's going on, huh? Uh, and then, then they tend to catch on uh, sort of quickly because we all know judges see lots of shenanigans in a courtroom, even if it's not from a sovereign citizen. And uh, then when they catch on, that's when the fireworks start. So here uh, we have a gentleman and the judge wants to refer to him uh, by his, his given name, which is Samuel Perdue. Um, and he wants to himself referred to as Samir Bay, And that's not an unreasonable request if you want to be called a certain way. Um, the paperwork's still going to reflect, reflect your legal name uh, in the court system, but that's a reasonable request. Uh, his driver's license was suspended. A second offense comes with the second offense one year in jail. I'm not sure which state this is in, but uh, these are these are some tough laws. Pennsylvania doesn't have doesn't come with one year in jail on a second offense. Not unless you're talking about uh, driving under the influence or related to driving under the influence. Um, one of the funny things here is it sounds like this the, the, the sovereign citizen has a buddy in his room who tells him he was going to piss off the judge. Well, he accomplished that goal, okay? He pissed off the judge. Um, then the judge tells him that he's from some alternate universe and threatens a $10,000 bond if he ever sees him again. Uh, you know, the, he says, he shows the judge what I believe is a real driver's license, which he obviously didn't have at the time. I can't tell. You guys tell me. Was that a fake driver's license or a real one? Um, you know, he, he, he calls the officer a liar. That's another good start. Refers to the police as commercial mercenaries, which is an interesting term to me. It's, it's a term that I enjoy. And then, of course, of course, he brings in the best. He tells him he's traveling. And the funny thing here, this is why I said the judge doesn't know what he's dealing with. <clears throat> he goes, traveling is one thing and driving is another. Your Honor, Your Honor, respectfully, you don't understand when they're talking about traveling, they are talking about driving, okay? So hopefully uh, he does a little research and learns about this. Um, then he tells him he doesn't want to hear this BS about <laughs> traveling and driving. Like I said, eventually this cop uh, or this judge catches on. He says if he, if he gets caught again, he's going to sit in jail for 28 days. He's going to set a bond. He's going to sit in jail for 28 days until his bond is, is perhaps uh, addressed. Um, pretty funny. Then he asked for an address and this guy says, my domicile is North America. Yeah, you and about 400 million other people, sir. <laughs> I mean, my domicile is North America too. Um, and then, and then he gets into all the oath, the oath, your honor, you're not complying with the oath. And then boop, the judge mutes him. I love it. I love it. Great move. Here's the thing. Mostly at these types of proceedings, what's important is that the court is communicating to the defendant 
it, it, it's not always so important that the defendant is communicating back. So if the judge mutes him, but he can still hear on the other end, he's, he's likely uh, meeting all the procedural requirements of the court. That's how I see it. Uh, excuse me. Uh, the, the, and, and my favorite part, perhaps, about this and some of these things are, are the, the people caught up in the middle. It appears on this Zoom chat. There's, I think one person was the officer, but it looks like two other defendants waiting for their case to get called. Boy, did they, they didn't realize that they were in for a show. And they sat there and they, they all seemed to be watching pretty intently, but they kept a straight face, something I cannot always do. So this judge caught on quick. I think he needs to buy my book and get informed. Uh, very, very funny and hilarious. So thank you everybody for tuning in to this episode of the Common Sense Academy. If you like my content, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Sign up for my other channel, Joe the Lawyer. I'm almost at a thousand subscribers. I cover legal news and do legal analysis on that show outside of Sovereign Citizen. Thank you very much.